the the contraceptives is too much like the post pills the birth control pills is too much come and sit down let me teach you how to calculate your menstrual cycle know when you are safe know when you are not safe to do the do and you don't always have to take contraceptive pills after you do the do you don't always have to sometimes you are safe your body doesn't even need it so yeah let's dive right. and before we go into the video you have to know that first of all you have to know how to calculate your menstrual cycle now the menstrual cycle some have 21 days some have from 21 days up to 30 days so you can have it as 21 days 22 days 23 days ah uh, to 30 days some even have up to 35 days i think so yeah we have different menstrual cycle for different people okay the normal one almost um, most people have is 28 days that's why you hear 28 days 28 days, 28 days. but it doesn't mean that if you don't have 28 days you don't you are not normal and so um for the 28 days if you menstruate let's say first of july we are in july so i'll use july if you menstruate let's say first of july the next day you are expecting your period is 29th of july that's after 28 days that's what we mean by menstrual cycle there are some people that will tell you i menstruate two times in a month if your menstrual cycle is 28 days and you, you menstruate on the first of july you are going to menstruate again on 29th of july that's the same month so there's nothing wrong with you that you're menstruating twice a month if your menstrual cycle is let's say 25 days and you menstruate on 5th of july your next menstruation is supposed to be on 30th of july that's after 25 days okay so you have to know your menstrual cycle and then you have to know how to calculate it well okay let's go all right so like i was saying um with the menstrual cycle we have the regular one which is every 28 days or every 25 days or every 23 days you see your menses or you see your period and then there are some people that today is 25 days tomorrow is 30 days the next month is um 21 days it changes today we are going to talk about those with regular menstrual cycle that's every either every 25 days or every 26 days it comes and the following video the next video we are going to talk about how to calculate your safe period for those with irregular menstrual cycle so today we are talking about regular menstrual cycle first of all how do you know your menstrual cycle how do you know it the first one yeah the first thing i going to, if you don't know your menstrual cycle the first thing you are going to do is observe it for the next minimum of three months so the next time you get your period write it on a paper or put it in your notes if you have i'm sure you have a smartphone that's why you're watching me put it in your notes let's say um date of menses um 10th july you put it down then the next time you get your period you write it again so let's say you menstruate on 10th of july and you menstruate again on let's say um fifth of i guess you write it again then you calculate the distance from 10th of july to fifth of i guess the duration the time period let's say you have 27 days you put it down the following month the following the next time you menstruate again you calculate the same thing from the first day that's the now your first day becomes fifth, fifth of august the first day is the first day you see the period the first day you see the blood not when you start having crumbs <clears throat> the first day you see the blood so the first day you see the blood becomes day one and then the last um then the next time you see the blood again becomes the day one of the new menstrual period i don't know if you get what i'm saying so if you your period starts on 10th of july this month the next time you see your period is maybe 5th of august the first one 10th of july is day one you calculate from um, first of um, 10th of july to 5th of august if it's 27 days then your menstrual period is 27 days if this con if this continues for the next three months then you have a, a menstrual cycle of 27 days if it changes the flowing month and it changes again the flowing month then you don't have a regular menstrual cycle if the distance is 21 days after three months you have 21 day cycle if it's 22 days after three months of um, continuous observation then you have 22 day cycle i believe this part is clear because you have to know your cycle <clears throat> before you'll be able to calculate it if you don't know your cycle you can't calculate okay so know your cycle first 
if you don't know your cycle pause this video save it and then go and observe it for the next three months and come back and then learn how to calculate it okay now that we know how to calculate our cycle now that we know our cycle length let's go ahead and calculate our save days and our ovulation days if you are trying to conceive yours is inside if you are not trying to conceive yours is inside so let's go well, the first thing you're going to need is a calendar so you can use your phone calendar or um, a paper printed calendar whatever calendar you want we are going into the calendar let's go guys so the first thing you are going to need is a calendar right this is july 2024 calendar i have written it down you can um, use any calculation you want just watch the video carefully and apply it to your days i'm going to use 25 days a person with 25 days um, menstrual cycle so let's assume someone with 25 days menstrual cycle yours may be 28 or 21 or whatever number it is i've told you how to calculate it already so let's say 25 days and this person begins her menstruation from 3rd of july so third becomes day one so that's number one day one of the person's menstrual cycle right and so day one is third and then day two day three day four day five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 so someone with a menstrual cycle of 25 days if the person should start menstruating on the third of july the person's menstrual cycle ends on 27th of july that's the 25 days and then 28th is her first day for the second or the next menstrual cycle so she's expected to menstruate on 28th do you understand it now if your menstrual cycle is 25 days and you start your period on third you are supposed to see your next period on 28th that's why i was saying that no matter your menstrual cycle um sorry it depends on your menstrual cycle if you have a menstrual cycle of even 28 days and you menstruate on the third yes but you are expected to menstruate again on the 29th so if you menstruate twice in a month there's nothing wrong with you you are okay your body is okay okay so now that we know how to calculate the menstrual cycle now let's look at the save days and then the unsaved days i'm sure that's what most of us are waiting for so the save days okay let's go back to the 25 um cycle so the person starts menstruating on the third and the next period is expected to be on the 28th but then this person okay before that ovulation is 14 days to your next period so 14 days to this day the next time you are expecting your period you can calculate it per your days so 14 days to the next time you're expecting your period so we are going to count 14 days from here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so someone with a menstrual cycle of 28 days who starts menstruating on the third is supposed to ovulate on the 12th day that's on the 14th so on this day 14th but then even in mathematics we we do um error calculation or something like that because this calculation is not perfect and accurate and there may be changes due to your hormones and everything we add plus or minus two to the day we expect the ovulation okay so we are going to add plus two to this day and then plus two to the 14th so plus two is going to move us from one two so we have this day and then one two this day so now we say that your fertile window that's your ovulation period is from the 12 13 14 15 and 16. this time around you are most fertile you are very very fertile and the least thing <laughs> the least thing you do you are going to get pregnant so from 13th 14th 15th 16th that's the 11th 12th 
13 and 14th of your menstrual cycle days if you do the least thing you are going to get pregnant because by then we believe the egg is released and it's ready to be fertilized by any sperm that comes around now here is the catch to calculate your saved days um sperms can stay in the fallopian tube when you have sex okay sperms can stay in the fallopian tube from three days to five days three to five days three to five business days that's for them i'm not, that's just by the way so three to five days now to be on the safer side we are going to add five days let's take the maximum just to be on the safer side so we're going to take five days add it to the first day of your fertile window okay so we said your fertile window is going to start from the 12 13 14 15 and 16 so five days to that is going to be one we are going to have one two three four five so we have from 12 11 10 9 and 8 so from 8 to 12 if you have sex within this period you are safe from one to seven um, from third you are starting on third right so from third to seventh you are safe but then if you should have sex on eight the sperm is going to stay in the body from eight nine ten eleven and when you may um, when you ovulate on the 12 the sperm is is in the body already is going to meet with the egg and fertilize it that's why it's not safe to have sex within this time if you miss anything just play the video over and over again you so you understand okay i just don't want to make the video very long so from 8 9 10 11 12 if you have sex within this period you are going to be pregnant and then because the sperms are going to stay in the body so the egg is released so from one two three four five six seven eight nine for this nine days is danger zone no go area danger 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 where i'm putting the danger there is danger <laughs> there is danger 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 zone oh i don't think this is part danger zone no go area so where the danger is they are all danger zone mm -hmm. now after that from 17th 18th 19th 20th 21st 22nd 23rd 24th 25th 26th 27th so your next period which is on the 28th you are safe i believe that makes sense you are safe like you are safe and the safety also there's a little catch there is 80 percent uh, about 80 to 90 percent safe but then is highly safe because by then the egg on a normal day is supposed to be going under distraction to be released as menstrual blood okay so by then the egg is not really really healthy to to be fertilized so we presume you are safe but um there's a 20 percent chance we know that you may be pregnant but then you are safe for the 80 percent so if you want to the thing is if you are trying to do a long-term um avoidance of pregnancy it's advisable to get a birth control like a, a go to the hospital let them explain to you the various birth control you can choose to get an iud whatever you want to get you can choose to get that one but then if you want a short term like let's say um one two month three months be that you want to you know have fun and you don't want to really really um put yourself on post pill post pill post pill then this one can work for you but if you are looking at a long-term prevention of pregnancy then go to the hospital and get the the long-term pregnancy prevention measures i believe this makes sense now you can pause the video go back and play pay the number of days you your menstrual cycle is you can use that one to calculate this one you don't need to this is not going to work for everybody because your menstrual cycle mine is 25 days some people have 28 days some have 21 whenever your menstrual cycle started that's the first day okay and the next time you see the next one that's the first day for that one and that's the 
end of the previous menstrual cycle. I believe this makes sense. If you have any question, you can leave it in the comment section and I'll surely attend to you. Thank you so, so much. In order not to make this video long, I'm not going to try with other examples, but then just get your calendar and go through this. So we are saying um, 14 days, 14 days to the next, to the next period starts. Then we are going to do plus or minus two. So we are going to add plus or minus two to the day it lands on. Okay. And then after the plus or minus two, we are going to do plus five to the day it lands on again. I believe it makes sense. And so the plus five, where the plus five ends, we are counting to the side. We are counting backwards. So where the plus five ends, from that place, from the plus five, from plus five, to the 14th day the 14th day that's um your ovulation ovulation that's your ovulation and from anything around it is safe around <laughs> around is equal to safe anything around it is safe you are safe from there like you know you are safe from if you want to take a screenshot of that, you can take a screenshot. You are safe from that place, so you are good to go. I believe this makes sense, and yeah. And um, let me know if you don't understand anything. I'll take you through again. And thank you so so much for stopping by the channel. My name is Palma, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, Noah.